First of all, let me, let me say that uh, the welcome that I've gotten here in Hamilton has been extraordinary. Uh, the people I've met, uh, the students here, the uh, folks and teams uh, that I met in various places uh, during our couple of days here uh, have been uh, thoughtful and open and warm. Mr. Prime Minister, will you go outside to speak to Canadians? Will you resign if the Emergencies Act Commissioner finds her invocation of the Emergencies Act unjustified, Prime Minister? A lot of Canadians are angry right now. Do you have any message to them? How do we lower the temperature in Canada, Mr. Prime Minister? Is there going to be another lockdown, Mr. Prime Minister? Eight or nine points down in Ontario, Mr. Prime Minister. When you're on from the Freedom Convoy, do you regret not do you regret not meeting with any of the protesters? How can we lower the political temperature, sir? A lot of protesters outside. Would you have any interest in talking to them? Mr. LeBlanc, how can we lower the political temperature in this country? First of all, let me, let me say that uh, the welcome that I've gotten here in Hamilton has been extraordinary. Uh, the people I've met, uh, the students here, the uh, folks and teams uh, that I met in various places uh, during our couple of days here uh, have been uh, thoughtful and open and warm. Uh, ministers, why won't you guys walk outside and speak to Canadians? Why do you guys think there are so many protesters outside? How can we lower the temperature in this country? 
Minister Gubo? Well, by fighting climate change would be a good way to lower the temperature. Do you feel like you feel like the government is not fighting climate change enough because the temperature is quite high? Minister Blair, if the uh, if the uh, Public Order Emergency Commission finds your government w invoked the Emergencies Act wrongfully, what will you do? Will you apologize to Canadians? First of all, let me let me say that. Uh, the welcome that I've gotten here in Hamilton has been extraordinary. Uh, the people I've met, uh, the students here, the uh, folks and teams uh, that I met in various places uh, during our couple of days here uh, have been uh, thoughtful and open and warm. I tell him to stop what he's doing, stop the tyranny. Stop the tyranny, stop treating the Canadian people the way he's treating them. Why, why you got to treat us like this? You know, you got to treat the good people bad. Why do you have to do this? Why can't you? Do you have anything in here? Do you have a heart, buddy? Obviously you don't. You can't ignore your people. You know, I only went to Ottawa for two days last year and I seen a million Canadians stand up, millions of Canadians stand up across Canada. And he still wouldn't acknowledge us. He, he got, apparently got COVID, so we waited seven days and then he still wouldn't come out. I waited those three weeks when it was minus 28. The one thing that all of us have in common is we were all removed from that city and none of us were acknowledged. He went on national television and said that we had unacceptable views, but how could he even know this if you not do it all? So my one thing would be, you know, we're not a fringe, we're your people, we have a voice and we deserve to be heard. Why are you being such a coward and ignoring your Canadians? You know, like, you're a coward. Look at all these police officers who have to protect you from peaceful people. Like, that's not right. Like, you know you've done something wrong. If I was sitting face to face to him, I'd ask him why why such a knee-jerk response to a peaceful protest in par at Parliament? Why wouldn't he come out and talk to those people? Those people who sacrificed the most important thing in their life, their time, just to talk to him, to send him a message that Canadians were done with the uh, lockdowns and mandates. First of all, let me let me say that. Uh, the welcome that I've gotten here in Hamilton has been extraordinary. Uh, the people I've met, uh, the students here, the uh, folks and teams uh, that I met in various places uh, during our couple of days here uh, have been uh, thoughtful and open and warm.